Welcome to Tuesday's tutorial. My name is Heidi Richards Mooney. I'm founder of Women in E-Commerce and I'm delighted to share this Tuesday tutorial with you. This week I'm going to talk about how to create an ebook cover or a document cover in Google Docs. So you have to have a Google a Gmail account in order to access your Google Docs. So you want to log into your Gmail account and then you want to go to um, your documents. So let me show you where you go for that. So I'm in my Gmail account and I'm going to click on these um, nine little buttons, this little uh, icon over here. I'm going to click on more and I'm going to click on docs, D-O-C-S. Again, let me show you how I did that. So I logged into my Google, my Gmail account. You'll see up here it shows my name Google Plus profile and if I want to go to my account I can go there but I don't want to I want to go to my, the Google Docs account so I'm going to click on more over under this uh, little square icon and click on Google Docs and then I'm going to get this page and it's going to show different types of documents that you can create I'm going to create a report cover document using their template which I've used for dozens of my uh, ebook covers. So I'll show you what the ebook cover looks like when it's done. That's the ebook cover I just created. And I'm going to make that again from scratch so I can show you exactly how to do it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to title your document or your cover, um, whatever you are going to call the document. So this is flowers and colors. I'm just going to create the exact same thing I did before and hit enter. So now I've got the document uh, title. Then I'm going to go over here and simply copy and paste uh, because I am a little lazy. I don't want to start from scratch, but I wanted to show you how I did that. What's cool about this is you can call it an ebook, um, a special report. This way, I'm going to call this an ebook because it's a little longer than a special report. Um, I'm going to actually change this to all caps. Um, this is actually a uh, the title of a video that I created in 2008 for my flower shop, Eden Florist, and decided to turn it also into a written report. So I basically just used the script from that uh, video to create this report, which is another little tip you can do. And um, let me just show you how to format now. So it's similar to any Word document or any type of document. You can pick the colors. Um, you can pick the, uh, the, uh, the type of uh, font you want. You can change the size. I like to make it as big as I can for that line. So that's too big. But even though it only says, it says 36 and 48, you can change it. So I went to 42. It's still too big. So I'm going to go to 40 and see if that makes it because I want it all on one line. Okay, so there's that. And then I go back to the other document and I'm going to copy and paste the subtitle and then I'm going to simply paste that right in here that's the subtitle and I'm actually going to change the font size on that as well it's currently 30 so let's make it 36 let's make it bold now I like it on bold okay so that's good so then I'm going to move this introduction down because that's actually going to go on page 2 and I'm going to put my name as the author and whatever the author is or whatever you want to do here you can and then of course it's for my company Eden Florist so underneath that I'm gonna put Eden Florist the other thing you can do which is cool is you can change the line spacing on this so format line spacing I have it at 1.5 if I wanted it wider I could go one um, I could make it 1.5 I'm sorry, I have it at 1.15, and if I wanted to make it 1.5, I could go there. So I'm going to go back to, and you can double space it as well. And then the last thing I'm going to do, well, two more things. I'm going to um, make sure there's a little footer with copyright information. I like to put that on the home page and every other page, every subsequent page. And then I'm going to insert a picture. 
So what I did with this picture is I actually went over to Pixabay, which is a free um, graphics uh, repository that you can actually download. These are all free. They're uh, uh, Creative Commons, if you will. So you don't have to do anything but download them. And you can. Some of them may ask you to give attribution. And so I like this one. This was the one I originally picked. This is the picture. But then I started scrolling down. And what I love about Pixabay and a lot of other uh, uh, graphic sites is they'll give you related images. And I looked at that and I like that even better. So I saved that as Lotus Flower. I downloaded it and saved it as Lotus Flower. So you can see that here. This is the download that I created. And then I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to delete that image by just clicking on it and hit delete. And I'm going to hit insert image. And you can drag and drop the image. You can just simply drag it from your desktop or you can find it on your desktop. So I'm going to find lotus flower white. And hit open. And it should load up pretty soon and then it'll be right in there. If it doesn't, I'll drag and drop it because sometimes it does take a second. And there you can see it loaded up nicely. You can actually resize the image if you want. So I may want this to come down just a little bit. If you want it to go wider, you can. You can um, make it a, a little bit bigger. I'm not going to do that because I'm going to actually stick with these uh, gold um, bars that are on the top. I'm actually going to change those to center so they're justified center. This picture is going to be justified center. So here's how you justify the, uh, the spacing. And that's it. And then I'm going to do a screen capture. Now I want to show you this was the original one I created. This is the actual one I'm going to use because I, I like the way the flowers and colors show up better. I may actually change the um, format. Let's see what the line spacing is. It's single. Okay, I'm going to leave it at single. Um, if it was wider, I would have made it a little narrower. So then I'm going to take, now I have a Mac, so I just hit Control, I mean Command Shift 4, and I can actually hit do a screen capture. That won't work because it's too big. So I go over to my Mac, and I make the picture just a little smaller. And then I can do a screen capture, which is Command, Shift, and the number 4. And it captures the screen, the area that you want. And then I'll show you what that looked like. So that was the capture. Here's the screen capture, and then I'm going to rename it what it's supposed to be, which is um, Flowers and Colors Cover. And in the next video, I'm actually going to show you how to convert that into a really cool ebook graphic that you can upload and use on site. So let me just show you what the original cover looked like so you'll see why I wanted to do that. So here was the original cover of the ebook as you can see and I, I did this I think back in 2000 and I don't know seven or eight and I thought well this isn't bad but I decided I'm gonna since I'm reworking the book, I might as well rework the actual uh, cover. So this will be the new cover. The content will be the same and I'll just create a brand new ebook from that by copying and pasting all the other information. So again, in the next video I will show you how to use a really cool tool to create ebook covers from the images that you have. So that's been this week's Tuesday tutorial and I hope you um, enjoyed that. And remember to check out www.wecai.org. This is good. Uh, we do many free resources, and a lot of them I create the covers using these this document as well as another one I'm going to show you next week. So again, um, these are all free tutorials that we do every week for our members on our private Facebook page, and they're uploaded to our member site. So if you're a member, you get these for free, and if you're not, you might want to check out Women in E-Commerce at WECAI.org. Have a great day.